Hello, my name is Stuart J. Murphy. I'm the author of the Math Start series. Math Start is a series of 63 books that teach mathematical concepts in the context of stories. 21 of those books are for pre-K and K. I'm going to read one of the pre-K K books to you right now. It's called Seaweed Soup. Seaweed Soup is about the very important mathematical skill of matching sets. I hope you enjoy the story. Seaweed Soup by Stuart J. Murphy, illustrated by Frank Remkowitz and read with the permission of HarperCollins Children's Books. Look at Turtle on the cover of the book. He's eating something special and he sure looks happy. Some of his friends are watching him. Can you count how many there are? Look at all that gooey, slimy, stinky, yucky seaweed. It looks like Turtle is bringing some seaweed into his kitchen at the beach. One day, Turtle decided to make seaweed soup. He stirred and he stirred until it was perfect. Thick and green, gooey and slimy, Turtle couldn't wait to have lunch. He put four things on the table a bright red cup for gooseberry juice, a great big spoon, a napkin, and one of his nicest bowls. Turtle was just about to fill his bowl when along came his friend, a Crab. Would you like to join me for lunch, asked Turtle. I just made a pot of seaweed soup. Yuck, thought Crab. It's green, it's slimy, and it's smelly. But how can I say no to a friend? Uh, I guess so, said Crab. Take my place and I'll get another cup, spoon, napkin, and bowl for myself, said Turtle. He had three of the things he needed to make a complete set, but he couldn't find another cup. Well, this glass will have to do, he said. Turtle came back to the table with a glass instead of a cup, another big spoon, another napkin, and another nice bowl. He was about to pour the gooseberry juice when Sandpiper and Seagull came flapping along. There's a pot of something icky next to Turtle's table, piped Sandpiper, and it smells awful too, squawked Seagull. Hurry and fly away before he sees us. But Turtle spotted them and yelled out, Come and join us for lunch. Turtle and Crab each have four things to eat with. How many things does that make in all? Well, okay, piped Sandpiper. She and Seagull flew back and sat down. Turtle said, one of you can take my place, and the other can sit right here while I looked for two more complete sets of everything. Turtle looked all around. There was one glass left, but it didn't match. The only bowls left were cracked, and there was only one more big spoon. Well, these will have to do, he said. Look at the table now. There are four animals, and each animal has four things to eat with. How many things in all does that make? After filling the yellow cup and the jelly jar with gooseberry juice and the two cracked bowls with soup, Turtle finally sat down. But just then, Clam poked her head out of the sand. What's that smell? Disgusting, she thought, and started to dig back down. But Turtle hollered, Please have lunch with us, Clam. There's plenty of seaweed soup. Clam thought it would be mean to say no. I suppose I can, she gurgled. Take my place, said Turtle. He looked for another set, but there was nothing left. Not a cup, or a glass, or even a jelly jar. Not a spoon, a napkin, or a bowl of any kind. While Turtle was gone, Crab said, I guess we'd better try the soup. But it's disgusting and slimy, complained Sandpiper, and smelly and gooey, added Seagull. Clam just shut her eyes and took a big spoonful. Wow, it tastes great, she gurgled with surprise. Then Sandpiper tried it. Yummy, she piped. Delicious, squawked Seagull. Amazing, said Crab. They sipped and they slurped until the entire pot of seaweed soup was gone. 
Can you sip? Do you know how to slurp? <laughs> Finally, Turtle came back to the table carrying a set of four things. A big seashell for a cup, a toy shovel for a spoon, a beach towel for a napkin, and a rusty old pail for a bowl. These will have to do, he said. Now let's eat that soup. His friends looked at one another. Nobody said a word. At last, Clam admitted, I'm sorry, Turtle, but when you were gone, we ate all the seaweed soup. Without a word, Turtle turned around and walked off. He's mad at us, whispered Seagull. What can we do, asked Crab. Soon, Turtle came back. He was carrying another pot of soup, thick and green, gooey and slimy, and just as smelly as the first one. And he said, you can never make too much seaweed soup. They sipped and they slurped until that pot was gone too. Can you sip? Can you slurp? There were five animals in the story and they each had four things to eat with. Can you tell me how many things in all that would be? Let's count them up. Let's start with that red cup. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. That's twenty things in all. Or maybe some of you know how to count by fives four times. There are five animals, and they each had four things to eat with. Five, ten, fifteen, twenty. We get the same answer. I hope you enjoyed my story, Seaweed Soup. I really enjoyed reading it to you. If you go to my website, you'll find that there are 20 additional pre-KK books in the Math Start series, and there are 62 additional books in all. You'll also find that there are activity sheets for all of my books. Thank you for listening.